Hey y'all, what's up? This is Jesse Both, and we're trying out something new here. Um, we're going to show you, I'm just going to show you the highlights from all of my shots, uh, except maybe some little small short putts from my rookie round. And I'm going to talk you through uh, the way I set up my shots. So this will be kind of like a condensed version of my round. Uh, that way you don't have to uh, look through all the shots of my opponents and uh, take a lot of time. This is a condensed version. You will still see my full shot setups and everything. So this is hole number one of the Winter Games Tournament. And uh, that was my opponent's drive. If my opponent hits a good shot, I might leave it on here just so you can see it. Um, and we're going to have my drive next. We're going to be using the rock. Um, and what you're going to see is a hook slice drive. You're going to see me set up the right edge of the circle right along the edge of the white snow. And I do move it over a little bit further because I was just kind of see um, if I could get the ball a little bit farther up the fairway. Um, and a full hook slice. And I really get kind of lucky here. Uh, my last second adjustment almost cost me. Um, but luckily I'm able to roll out of the rough and onto the fairway. So I would just suggest using uh, the right edge of your circle at the edge of the snow line to the left of that bunker. Full hook, full slice. So here we are in my second shot, which is a chip. You're going to see me using the skewer. Um, and I end up going four bars of backspin. And we're just going to kind of line this one up to drop it right into the hole. Sometimes you'll see me adjust my side spin on the ball, and that's just to try to get the line a little bit straighter uh, for a better bounce into the hole. So you'll see me take my second shot here in just one moment after I line it up. Uh, we're going to adjust a little bit for the wind. Hopefully we hit a perfect. And we do. And we bounce it in for the eagle to start off our round. So two down after one hole. Good start. Uh, next up we're going to have a par three. Now our shots are going to go through go by fairly quickly because I've edited out a lot of the the extra middle content, cut screens and stuff like that. So we're going to go from shot to shot. So this might go by pretty fast, but it'll save you time. You don't have to sit here and watch a 50 minute round. This will be condensed down into 20 minutes. So my second shot, um, I like to aim as far down as I can. Um, as far away from that slope as possible. You can see me using the uh, backspin to just kind of like get it to a point where I have a decent looking guide, um, a straight shot into the hole. Now this is a very tough par 3. And you see me adjust for the wind. I went, a little, I went about a bar for the wind, 2.6 miles an hour. And um, a lot of my par threes, I'm very close. Um, that one, I don't think I hit a perfect shot, so uh, we were a little bit off, more off than we would have been if I had hit a perfect shot. You're going to see me put this one in for the birdie. And we go to three down after two holes of play. So now we're coming up to hole three, which is going to be another hook slice shot. And uh, well, at first we're going to have the shootout. Uh, I will show you some of the shootout holes, not all the shootout holes. Um, I'm trying to work on practicing this one. I think they've made some changes to the green uh, on this one right over that edge because the ball does not seem to be taking the same type of roll as it did last time we had this hole in the tournament. Um, as you can see, I'm going to bounce it kind of, I'm going to attempt to bounce it off the edge of the, the rough uh, fringe area and roll it to the hill. So we hit that one and we get a good bounce and a decent roll and we almost got it. Um, just came up just a little bit short. So now we're going to move to hole three. And you're going to see my hook slice 
uh, curl slice shot on this hole. We're going to make a change of clubs real quickly. And we are going to be using the quarterback on this hole. For the quarterback, you have to go full three, uh, three full circles uh, for your slice shot. You're going to see me aim the shot using the right edge of the circle. That's kind of like my aiming point. So I want, to, I want to have my circle adjusted using the right edge plus whatever the wind uh, is blowing. So we'll, uh, I want to really kind of visualize 3.3 miles per hour off the right hand part of my circle. Okay. So you want to see what full power will be and then adjust 3 extra miles per hour from there. So you're going to see me go... One, at one, because I'm already at one circle to start with, so we're going to go two and three, okay? We're going to go into landscape mode, full power, slice, and that one hits nicely, and rolls right up the fairway. Perfect drive. That'll put yourself in position for your second shot. Uh, here you're going to see me kind of uh, try to bounce it off the rough fringe area in front of the green. And I'm going to use one top spin. And you're going to see me just use the ball guide. And I want to feed this one right into the, just into the uh, edge of the hole. Um, if you notice that I did have a little bit of right spin on my ball, and I normally would not have right spin. I was adjusting quickly and not paying attention. Normally, I just want to have a little bit of top spin, no right spin. And as you can see, I hit a good shot, perfect shot, and that right spin cost me in the end. Because you can see, I end up just the right hand side of that hole. Otherwise, we might have had the albatross. Um, you want to make sure when you're taking that shot not to put too much topspin because you will go by the hole and end up at the top of that green for a long putt. So we are going to move on to hole number four, which is a par three. And it's the island hole. Um, when you're playing this hole, you want to approach the hole from whatever way the wind's blowing. So you see the wind's blowing from left to right, and I'm going to approach it from that, that angle. I like to always line my um, shot up using the inner yellow circle at first, right on the edge of the green. And then from there I adjust. We're going to adjust for the wind now. And we hit a perfect shot. And based off of this shot, you can kind of figure out how to uh, how to set up other shots. So we came up just a bit short of the hole and to the right of the hole. So um, that could have been a result of my aiming. Um, and that was actually just a, a shootout. Uh, now you're actually going to see me play the same exact hole for the tournament hole. And the wind is going to be coming from the right to the left. So I'm going to be aiming on the right side of the hole and bringing the ball in from that side. So you're going to see me start the hole with my inner yellow circle aligned right at the edge of the green. Uh, from there I will adjust my spin and curl, I mean spin and backspin and side spin. And then I'm going to adjust a little bit to the right because of my last shot I had on this hole. Uh, now I will adjust for the wind about a bar and a half and unfortunately I do not hit a perfect shot um, otherwise it would have been to the left a little bit farther and you see it probably cost me a hole in one if I had hit a perfect shot 
So hopefully this helps out. Check out the next video. In the